Hello and welcome to another budget and leg of it in. Now behind us we have a special thing I've been working on for the last few months. Just kind of got it ready now. I've been having problems with one particular part. That's why it hasn't really been ready. So we'll kind of go through it. Cannot buy one of these. Well, certainly not in my price range. So I've kind of made this from a few things myself because this is what I want. I've seen a similar version from another company, but it just has one part. It doesn't have everything on it. So we're going to get to it. We're going to do the big reveal on my diagnostic toolbox. So we're going to reveal it. I'll go through what's in it. The only problem is it isn't big enough. I need one about three times the size, but it's going to have to do for the minute. But you're going to get the idea. We'll go through kind of the main stuff that's in it and if I can get a bigger one, then we'll kind of add to it. So you're ready. Da, 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 da. Boom. Now we'll go through everything in a minute, but now what I'm going to be doing, because I've got this set up properly, I'm going to be doing a lot more diagnostic stuff and a lot more screenshots or screen record stuff because I don't like kind of trying to get a screen on camera because there's too much reflection and it's just, it looks horrible. So what I am going to do and now I've got this set up properly is I'm going to be doing a lot more diagnostic videos. I'm also going to be doing videos on how to read certain waveforms, how to read wiring diagrams and stuff like that. So we're going to do kind of a big series on all that type of stuff. But let's get in a little bit closer and see what we've got here. Right, first thing, obviously, in the middle, we have our Varus, which will be going to this screen and, you know, will actually be put into the computer so I can record from it and all that. This is for sale, people. If anybody wants to buy this, let me know. The first person with €2,000 can buy this. So contact me through Facebook and it can be yours. So what we're doing, as you can see, we have our toolbox. We have our Varus set up in the middle. So this is my webcam live stream recorder there we obviously have our various with the docking station we have our that's a 24 inch screen it was supposed to be a 32 inch touch screen but i had problems but now looking at it i don't know if a 32 inch touch screen would actually fit there but anyway we will get a touch screen eventually then we have our computer here now the good thing about the computer is this is really cool as you can see we can pretty much do anything um we want with it i don't know why that screen's gone off right our screen is back but what i like about this laptop is because it's all touch screen and i can draw on it i can pretty much do anything i want in it as you can see and as i draw on it or draw on that screen so if i'm analyzing a waveform well, now i will be doing this once i do it properly you will see this on a screen record rather than seeing the screens like this but for example if i'm analyzing a waveform like this one for example you know i can go into a few details we can see i'm not going to be able to see with that color let's change the color to yellow you can see here we have the coil switching on you can see here we have the actual ignition or well not the ignition time but the actual spark and as you can see we have a problem there and again i'll go through this more in another teeth in, in in other videos we had the burn time you know i can go into a lot of details i can draw on the screen and we can do everything we need to do on talking about waveforms wiring diagrams how to read them and everything so they're going to have a lot more videos on that now i've kind of got this set up nice and complete which I think is going to be absolutely awesome. The other good thing about these, these are completely and utterly uh, movable. So I can put these, same as the other screen, in absolutely any position I want. I can even do it with this screen. We can turn it around so we can have it portrait landscape. We can just do anything we want to it, which is just absolutely awesome. So it's just going to make my life an awful lot easier when I come to do stuff like that. So hopefully you can see the advantage that we're gonna have in kind of doing this. It's going to be awesome, people. Right, what else do we have on the top? We have our calculator. Yes, I've gone a bit OTT on the calculator. You don't need anything kind of like that. But that's our calculator, which again, we have a theme going on here. Touch screen. Yep. So if we need to do any, uh, complex mass anything after one plus one i'm screwed so i need a calculator on the side here you can just see we have a couple of speakers that are in the shape of a socket but now we'll kind of get into the meat of these the actual drawers and let's see what we have 
in the drawers. As you can see, I've customised it. It's a budget and leg it diagnostics. We have our stickers here that I got sent to us from all the other YouTubers, which is fantastic. Anyone wants to send me stickers, send them to me. We'll bang them on the box, sorted. So, I don't know which may be best to start from the bottom or the top. We'll start from the top because I can kind of do it easier. So in the first drawer we have our secondary ignition and thanks very much to Mark from Solid Diagnostic for sending me because my dog decided to chew him. We have our low amp probe, we have our temperature gauge, we also have our amp clamp. Now these are the snap-on ones that go directly to the scope. Then we have a few scope leads. I have a drawer at the side which I'm not going to show you full of my scope leads and charges and stuff like that. You don't really need to see it. I have this stuff in it to kind of keep it dry. Now we have our in-cylinder pressure tester transducer i made this myself very simple and i have a couple of pressure transducers there we have a couple of back probes a couple more extensions for in cylinder testing then we have our 12 volts charger for various we have some more ignition probes here which is always handy we also have some back probe pins down here and we also have some back probe pins pins there as well now what do we have here we have another amp clamp so we have another amp clamp which is handy with the digital multimeter on the bottom so it kind of is two in one we have another amp clamp here this is a facon one for our facon multimeter we also have a lock pick set which is upstairs but we have a lock pick set as well um, for obviously picking locks second drawer what do we have in our second drawer and we can see so we have this is great piece of kit to snap on multimeter but it also has a two channel scope, which does Bluetooth to this. But if you just want a quick scope, really, really quickly, you can turn it on and you've got a two channel scope more or less instantly. So depending on what you're doing, it can be quick and easy to actually just get this out and start testing. Again, we have this stuff to try and keep the old dampness down. We have our wind gauge here. So what this does is, this shows us how much wind we have. So when I'm doing, well, you can do loads of things when you're testing your heaters to make sure your heaters are working properly. See how much wind you've got coming out of your heaters. That's really handy. Yeah. We have, this is really handy because this can test your RPMs on, on anything essentially. You can put a special pad, you spin it around and it tells you how fast the wing is going in RPMs or anything like that. So that's really handy, especially for, well, depending on what you're doing in cars, you know, you want to make sure sensors are reading correctly and stuff like that. That's very good. We have our FACON multimeter here, which we have the amp clamp for that as well. Again, nice big screen, nice, handy tool to have we have all the leads and stuff in there because this has a special battery tester mode on it so we have all the leads in there for it we have our relay tester so we have a little relay tester gadget here which is handy for testing relays again just quick easy test right our third drawer we just have some kind of diagnostic tools here we have our foxwell nt644 i believe can't remember exactly we have a maxi check which is an autel which is for dpf filters and stuff and we have also the ebs31301 which is an autel which is for all the brake buttons so it will wind back the calipers it'll do you know wind the calipers back wind the calipers on and also diagnose the the braking system which is good yes the bigger snapper machine does do it but that's just quick and easy to do it rather than firing up the big machine just makes life a lot easier we have our delphi system we have also our auto boss and then we have our snap on keys here as well it's kind of self-explanatory like i said there's a lot more but this is kind of the main stuff because i don't have any room for absolutely everything but it kind of keeps most of the stuff together next drawer we have our fuse savers so if you've got a circuit it keeps popping fuses you can put these fellas on saved fuses and you can diagnose the circuit a hell of a lot easier with all the connections in here for depending on what you're actually which circuit you're testing what type of fuse you're testing really handy piece of kit then we have our test lights we have like a long one as you can see and we just have the ordinary one handy to have an extra long one that's a draper expert that one and the other one is a sykes pick event now what do we have here these are our light meters so 
when we're doing lights and stuff we can actually test how much looms are coming out of well anything really doesn't really matter come in handy for a few videos i have two of them that's another one does the same thing just a different make then we have our hobby tool tester fantastic piece of kit i've done a, a full review on this this is brilliant because it gives you the traffic light system so it basically tells you if the system is good or bad without you having to to know essentially absolutely fantastic meter good amp buddy in it as well absolutely fantastic go and check out the review for that you'll see that a lot more in my videos coming up extra as you can see things are a bit tight we have our gas analyzer this only does petrols and stuff i'm looking for the the five gas analyzer one anyone want to send me one send it sorted so that's obviously handy for testing emissions and stuff like that right next thing dial indicator i absolutely love this this is a digital dial indicator but it's more or less the same but just digital this is fantastic they aren't cheap but they're a precision tool at the end of the day this will do essentially everything if i'm rebuilding a rear differential you need this for the run outs for everything you know for testing the run out of brakes seeing if a brake disc is warped you can use one of these there is loads and loads of reasons on a racing engine setting your valves and absolutely everything you know retarding your valves and setting them open absolutely this thing can do absolutely phenomenal i absolutely love that tool also it's good because it does it in both measurements millimeters metric imperial and all that you know millimeters metric imperial english and american let's say um, <laughs> so yeah fantastic piece of kit and depending on what you're doing an absolute must especially if you're working on rear differentials and stuff you need something like that then we have a power probe this is just a snap-on one but it is made by power probe for snap-on the only reason I went for this one more so than the power pro is just because the screen is bigger. I like the bigger screen. It's going to be better for videos and absolutely everything. You do have to be careful with these. Don't rely on these for, you know, if you're testing a circuit and it says it's power, don't necessarily rely on it. And certainly do not send power back on a live circuit because you won't have any modules left after you. But for, you know, powering electric windows heater motors and stuff like that once they're disconnected from the circuit absolutely brilliant piece of kit just saves you know a lot a lot of messing you can bi-directionally control some of them but at least with this you can kind of do it quick and easy these are also really handy it's a, a terminal remover set this is a laser set so if you want to remove some wires from a terminal connection without breaking it these have all the different pins and everything to go down and remove it without actually breaking it really handy especially if you've got a broken wire right next to a plug and you want to take it out and repair it brilliant then we have i just recently got this it's a pulsar machine again fantastic you will be seeing a video on this shortly essentially what this does is if you have a circuit and it keeps blowing the fuse you plug this into the circuit you can set this gauge to whatever fuse you've just taken out whether it's a 10 15 20 amp 30 amp whatever it is press this button and automatically it'll tell you the amperage going through that circuit let's say you take a 15 amp fuse out and it keeps blowing it well you can disconnect things press the button let's say it says 20 amp it's going to blow the fuse disconnect something press the button again let's say it says 10 amps well then you know that's your problem and then you can find your you can find the actual problem after that again great piece of kit now this is a must you're doing anything on vehicles to do with electronics testing modules testing sensors testing anything this kit is an absolute must da -da -da. how gorgeous is that this is the terminal test kit from hubby tools absolutely phenomenal has all your back probes for your different pins so you don't spread your pin out and you're not going to cause a bad connection for different spade connections absolutely everything you've got your back probes you've got again i've done a full um a full review on this so you can you can you can look at the video i'll link i'll link it down below but yeah absolutely a must a fantastic piece of kit you have one of these well you're going to need one it's as simple as that you will need one if you're working on modern cars it's a must okay and our last draw we have two battery testers kind of does what it says on the tin test batteries that's a quick battery tester 
this is a slightly more involved battery tester so this will do a printout but it'll also not only will it test your battery it'll test your charging system and everything and it gives you a printout just it looks good because the customer then knows you've at least done something when you put the likes of this on you can tell if the battery is good or bad but when the customer is looking at you they don't think you've really done anything <laughs> even though you have now what do we have here injector harness kit tester so you have all the different node lights for your injectors if you want to test them this is quite handy because this has some fiber optic leads in there and you can actually see when uh, they're lighting up again quick and easy test to see if you've got a problem with your injector wiring harness it's all about getting the right tool for the right job to make your life easy at the end of the day we have the sykes terminator again quick and easy put it on you see your voltage just quick and easy we have a decibel meter again you know believe it or not they do come in handy so you know you want to test the exhaust level or anything any noise levels you can use decibel meter so a digital calipers again with something like this no point going for cheap crap i've gone for a fac on one kind of as good as you're going to get you know measuring stuff digitally where well, you get a digital reading so yeah really good handy amazing how much time you actually use that this is a another recent tool i've got it's mainly for electric vehicles it's an amp clamp but it's a two and a half thousand uh, amp clamps so two and a half thousand amps it can handle so i'm going to be using this for electric vehicles but the really good thing about this this has fluke fc so you can actually um Bluetooth it to your phone and you can actually do a bit of data logging. So let's say you put it around your battery terminal and you want to turn your lights on or test loads inside the car. You can actually do that with this and you can leave the amp clamp. You can see my battery's about to go. You can use the amp clamp internally in the car. Now, replace my battery and continue. So yes, that's very handy. I just bought this from upstairs because this is supposed to be in the box too. It's my scope meter from snap-on to be honest for the price you pay for this it works but just the picture quality doesn't seem to be you know spectacular I've got a few different cameras for it well that's just the ordinary one like this then I have one that will actually detect the fluid so if you put um, fluid in to see if there's a leak somewhere it will detect it but I just don't like I don't like the screen on it I think the, the for the money you pay for it the the camera quality should be better and the recording facilities on it too i don't really like the recording facilities on it, it doesn't seem to record for very long but it does kind of get you out of stock sometimes so again still really handy to have then we have this is a snap-on dial indicator as well but this is just the ordinary kind of old-fashioned analog one which again is still fantastic has the magnet clamp as well and then we have the Sykes EGR valve cleaner slash tester great piece of kit you'll see it in a lot of my videos you can do a lot more than just test EGR valves with this like in my, one of my latest videos I tested a turbo valve solenoid with this as long as it's 12 volts you can essentially test it with this absolutely fantastic so that really is it that's kind of a quick summary of my uh, diagnostic toolbox there is a lot more but i just can't fit it in so this is kind of the main things i would say once i kind of get a bit more money i might see if i can get a bigger one but this will do me for the time being hope you enjoyed it see my new box with my new setup which i'm really excited about and like I said, you're going to be seeing a lot more diagnostic videos now, a lot more analyzing waveforms, a lot more kind of, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to call them, but essentially I'm going to go through like how to, how to read wiring diagrams and stuff like that, because I think it's a lot easier. Depending on what car I get in, we can go through kind of the basics. So if you do get an oscilloscope or anything like that, and you do, because obviously you might have a car with a different problem than what I'm showing in my videos, at least it gives you an idea of how to, how to read a wiring diagram, how to read a waveform and stuff like that. So it should give you a kind of a better idea. We're going to be doing them obviously after Christmas, after the new year. And uh, yeah, sorted. So look, hope it helps, thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget, links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted.